So I'm going to show you another way to make a beaded cross pendant and this is thanks to the feedback of YouTube user Mega Chrissy. She was asking me if I could do a cross pendant that didn't have wires across the back and I was sketching out some ideas and my daughter Mimi AG, you can check out her channel, suggested that I just use two wires across like that and I was wondering how am I going to hold them in place and I figured out I could twist them together with another little wire in the middle. So what you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge artistic copper wire and a thinner gauge like 24 gauge to hold the pieces together and you'll need your flat pliers, your cutters and your round pliers and also a variety of beads. So what we'll do first is cut our pieces of big wire. So what we're going to do is with the 20 gauge wire cut a piece that's about three inches and then another piece for the crossbar that's a little uh, shorter about two inches or so and this isn't that important because we can adjust it at the end so these will be your two basic pieces and you can flatten them out with your fingers if you like you'll adjust that at the end as well so that'll be your basic shape and then from there we'll get our 24 gauge wire and cut a bigger piece I don't know about 8 inches or so of that one okay so we've got our wires now tricky part a little bit tricky is we're going to take the two these two wires and hold them in a cross like that and this is very similar to the technique I used to make my snowflake decorations where we're attaching the wires together with a separate wire and so we're going to hold them in place and then we're just going to put our thinner wire there and we're going to very carefully start to twist around each one for sure when you start it's a little bit tricky because you have to get them kind of centered and then we're just going to keep twisting around so the first one, the second one, we'll twist it around third one and then we, when we get around to where we started we'll actually clip that little end off because it's going to be easier if we just clip that off like that and then we keep going with our long wire so we're going to keep going, twisting around, so around, and depending on how thick this wire is, you could actually go around two or three times, depending on how big of a little uh, clump of wire you want in the middle. And don't worry if it's a little crooked, because once you have all the beads on, it's going to look great. So I've gone around about three times. If I was using the 22 gauge wire I might only go around uh, uh, twice but this one it looks pretty good if I go around three times because the wire is a little thinner and then once you've gone around two or three complete times we're going to clip the end like that and you can push the little end in with the flat pliers and then you'll see you have your beginnings of your cross and now all you have to do is do your beading so we'll start with the top and I'm using blue beads these are about four millimeters so I think I'll start with this one actually this is six millimeter this one's six and then we can space it with some little silver beads if you like and do another little colorful one and like that so whatever pattern you like and then once you have the pattern you like you're going to trim the end to about uh, the top actually we're going to leave the end a little bit more about three-eighths of an inch and then we're going to do take this and do go across and loop it like that so at the top we have like a nice finished loop. If you like you can actually cut the wire longer 
loop it around and then twist it around a few times to make it more secure. If it's going to be a pendant and it might have some wear and tear, you could do that. If it's a decoration, you could just make a simple little loop like that. So once we have those ones, we're going to do the ones at the bottom. And you can follow the same pattern if you like. So we'll do about the same pattern, but we'll do maybe a couple of extra beads to make it a little bit longer. Just because sometimes the bottom part of the cross is a little bit longer. So we'll add another little bead and I'll add another clear bead at the bottom just to make it a wee bit longer. And then same thing, you can trim that to about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, and just turn it with your round pliers. And then all you have to do are these side ones so same thing, we can follow the same pattern that we had on the top. So here are the finished pendants. As you can see, this one I made a little bit longer and the sides are a little bit narrower. And the beads vary between 4 and 6 millimeters and you can use any combination of glass beads, crystal beads and metallic spacer beads.